here is another problem that one of our viewers had. They were wondering just where you can locate a stair landing and how many stair landings you can put in a stairway. And I'm here to tell you that a stair landing can be located anywhere in the stairway. For example, it can be located one step away from the top or one step away from the bottom. Or you can have a couple of them in the landing. And again, you don't need to stick to this model. I could have a landing located one step away from the top and then four steps away landing and then come down or I could reverse it one step up landing five steps up landing or I can come down three steps to a landing two steps to another landing one step to a landing and then work my way down from there or I could simply have one landing at the top and one landing at the bottom and of course one landing located somewhere in the middle or instead of going straight up, I could have a stairway that goes off to the right or to the left. And this is a common stairway. This is often referred to as a L-shaped stairway with a landing. And this stairway can also have a landing located again anywhere within the stairway. One or two, three steps away from the top. Or one, two, three, four, or five steps away from the bottom. Or we can use another common design, and this is often referred to as a U-shaped stairway or a switchback. And this, of course, is another common design for stairs with landings. And in this design, the landing is often located somewhere in the middle of the stairway. For example, you might have five or six steps going up to the landing and then five or six steps going up to the second floor. Or you could have a situation like this. Again, the landing can be located anywhere within the stairway. And the landing can be even built lower longer. It just cannot be smaller. The building codes often require a minimum width for a stairway of 36 inches for most single family homes. And the depth of the stairway will need to be the same also. So the minimum size landing for something like this would be six foot wide and then three foot deep. And again, that's the minimum size. You can always make it larger. And the stairs can be located in a variety of different directions. For example, I could have the stairway here, I could have it over here, I could have it coming up this way, I could have it switching back, or I could have it come down this way and then turn 90 degrees and come this way. And the stairs can be located in the center, on the left, or on the right if you're going to be using a larger landing. And again, can come down and go this way, can come down and go this way, can come down and go this way. And hopefully this makes sense. Now the one thing I did not get into was angling the landings because that can get a little tricky. However, if this is a subject that you're interested in, feel free to let me know by leaving a comment in the comment area and I will definitely make another video on that. And the reason why I'm not going into the details in this video is because sometimes angled steps or angled landings can be confused with winders and fall into the winder building code categories. Next up, let's take a look at at whether or not a landing is actually a part of the stairway for the purpose of changing the height of the landing if necessary. And an example of that would be if you had a landing at the bottom or top of the stairway. Now here's the problem I ran into when I was building stairs. And that was the fact that it wasn't difficult to cut the stair stringers to provide the same riser height for each step in the stairway. Stairway. However, that wasn't always going to be the case with the landing. For example, if I needed a 7 inch riser height, then I might need to rip the joist down to create a riser height of 7 inches. And that's going to require a lot more time when building the stairway. Or you could run into another situation where you have a landing in the middle that would provide you with the ability to build two different flights of stairs with different riser heights. For example, the upper stairway could have a riser height of seven and a quarter inches, and the lower section could have a riser height of seven inches or even seven and a half inches. 
And something like this could be useful in split level homes or in homes with multiple levels and landings. Or another situation that might allow you to lower the riser height for one stairway or to increase the riser height would be to change the riser height here because it would be separated by two landings. So in this example here, we would have a upper floor, lower floor, landing, flight of stairs, landing flight of stairs. And according to my interpretation, we would not be able to change the riser height or the treads in this area here or in this section here leading from the top of the landing to the top of the landing or leading from the top of this landing to the top of this landing or floor. However, according to my interpretation of the building code, we would be able to change the height here and here. And this is the whole reason why I'm making the video is because I used to come to situations where it would be easier for me to build the stairs if I could change the riser height in a landing, whether it's located in the middle, at the top, or at the lower section. And this would provide us with three points to change the riser height if we needed to. Even though I never have, I always built the stairs with the same riser height. And if you can, I would suggest doing so also. And if you can't, then something like this is probably going to be accepted by your local building department. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I've seen it done before at the top and the bottom of the stairway. I've never seen it done in the middle like this, but I have seen it done plenty of times at the top or the bottom. And if that is true, if you can do it at the top, and you can do it at the bottom, and they consider this to be a landing and this to be a landing, then you're not going to have a problem doing it here because this would be a landing and this would be a landing. And to prove my point, let's go ahead and read the definition of a couple of words in the International Building Code book. Stairway, one or more flights of stairs. And in this one here, we would have a flight of stairs here, a flight of stairs here, and then a step and a step, or what even might be referred to as a stair. So the definition for stair is a change in elevation consisting of one or more risers, which we would have right here and right here. A stairway is one or more flights of stairs, either interior or exterior, with the necessary landings and platforms connecting them to form a continuous and uninterrupted passage from one level to another within or attached to a building porch or deck. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the word flight. And the definition of that is a continuous run of rectangular treads or winders or combination thereof from one landing to another. Meaning that a flight of stairs will be from one landing or one level, one floor, to the next landing. Suggesting that the flight of stairs would be right here. All risers and treads would need to be the same from this landing to this landing and from this landing to this landing. However, it might not not be from here or here. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.